Hi, my name is Golnaz Habibi. I'm going to present SILA, an incremental learning approach for pedestrian trajectory prediction. This is a joint work with Nikita Jaipuria and Jonathan Howe from Aerospace Control Laboratory, MIT, and Ford Motor Company. About the challenges of the pedestrian motion behavior prediction. Despite progress in pedestrian detection and tracking algorithm, inferring the pedestrian intent is still challenging. Because pedestrians usually show high uncertainty in their behaviors, they can abruptly change their direction or suddenly stop or start walking or running. And usually inferring the pedestrian behavior is going to be difficult because their, their, their intent is hidden from the, and the, the predictor. As you see in this video, this is a combination of the YOLO and SORT for tracking a pedestrian. As you see, the tracking is uh, is doing well. However, uh, the inferring the pedestrian behavior is going to be challenging. The other factor is the interaction between the pedestrian. As you see also, the interaction between the pedestrian influence the pedestrian behavior. The other point is about the inferring pedestrian intent in the challenging environments such as the intersections or the crosswalks because in this environment we have a more high um, we have a higher interaction between the pedestrians and with the other road users including the cars cyclists and the other pedestrians and some context environment for example traffic light or the uh, the geometry of the intersection can influence the pedestrian behaviors and usually pedestrian doesn't have the uh, and the rules of the road and they are not usually staying in the road similar to the cars and the cyclists and makes it more difficult for them for prediction and the last thing is that uh, violation of the rules for example jaywalking that happens in the pedestrian more frequently and it makes more difficult for inferring the, their behavior uh, big data is changing industries in general and also including self-driving cars. In March 2019, New Tanami Active Now released self-driving data sets and some other car companies started releasing their data sets from that moment. As more data set is available, the data driven algorithm including human motion prediction algorithm are getting more and more accurate. However, Prior approaches, including motion prediction algorithm, are mostly limited to offline or batch setting, which is impractical when data is available incrementally. For example, in self-driving cars, when the data is incrementally available and we explore different environments. As you see in this figure, is a figure from SDGCNN, is a state-of-the-art work in prediction algorithm that it uses a deep neural network for the prediction. However, this algorithm is also and based on the batch learning. Our idea is to design an algorithm that incrementally learns human motion behaviors or intents from data action. That we, we propose similarity-based incremental learning SILA and our main contribution is summarized as follows. The, and we have the cap capability of updating prediction model incrementally. A new method for fusion of the motion primitives based on the similarity graph is proposed. And based on this a new fusion strategy, we achieve one third of the model size in naive incremental learning where no fusion is occurred. And as a result, we have an 11% improvement in prediction error ATE on average compared to the state of the art. Let's go through a SILA algorithm step by step. First of all, we assume we have a data available in time t, and we want to learn motion behaviors. We use our prior model TASNSC, and we learn the motion behaviors in terms of the motion primitives and their transitions, which is denoted here by M as motion primitives and T as their transitions. We call it this as a model M or pre-trained model. Now we have a new data available in time t prime, and we want to improve our model based on this new data set which is available. The way, we, the way that we do is that we, we train our new model based on again TSNSC, and we learn a new set of the motion primitives and their transitions. Now, the next step is to fuse these two models to update our, our model. For doing that, we use the special graph called uh, dual motion graph. And this dual motion graph, it includes uh, some nodes and the edges, and the nodes are representing the motion primitives, and the edges represent the and the, the transition between these two. 
Next step is to find to match nodes. Match nodes are the nodes that with the similarity score higher than given threshold. So we find a match node between these two graphs and the, we, we use the, the normalized inner product of the two motion vectors as a similarity score for measuring the similarity score. By having this match node, we have a similarity graph and we uh, propose a set off the a fusion strategy, inter, strategy in the paper and based on that now we have a new updated model m double prime as you, as you see that the model has a set of the motion primitives and their edge which is updated from a new data set and we can continue incrementally um, improving our algorithms as a new data set available and we can repeat this uh, this procedure so uh, we evaluate, evaluate our algorithm and in two different scenarios, intersection and non-intersection scenarios, and we use leave one out method. It means that for training, uh, we, when we have n data sets, we train on n minus one data sets and we test on the remaining data sets. We use two evaluation metrics, average uh, displacement error or ADE, the average of the pointwise L2 distances between the predicted trajectory and ground truth, and final disp displacement error, FTE, the L2 distance between the final points of the pred prediction and the ground truth. And also because we have a distribution of the prediction as set of the trajectories as a prediction, we, we take the minimum of we, we we sample k trajectories from the distribution and we take the minimum of them and also we take the average over all the scenes for our we have to evaluate our algorithm on intersection scenarios first which is from the data set that we are collected and we collected in five different intersections and we feed our model in four different intersections and we test on the different intersection with different geometry from the training model and uh, as the result shows, the, inter the prediction error decreases as more data sets are available from A intersection to in D intersections. We also evaluate our algorithm ETH and UCY data sets, which is non-intersection data sets, which includes five different data sets, ETH, Hotel, Univ, Zara1, and Zara2. And also we fit the data set based on this table that's shown in this image. And also we see that the data, the, the prediction error incrementally decreases as more data sets is available. We compare SILA with batch learning and naive learning. We compare SILA with its batch setting TSNSC and its naive setting when there is no fusion. As a result, SILA with similarity threshold 0.6 achieves the best trade off between the model size and prediction error ADE, and the size of the SILA is one third of the naive learning setting. Also, uh, this figure shows one of the scenes from the ETH that shows that. Um, SILA outperforms two other baselines, linear or constant velocity, and also TSNE as its batch setting. In this figure, the observed trajectory is in green, and the ground truth is with the dashed line, as, a, as C SILA has the closest prediction. And in general, SILA outperforms its batch setting, TSNSC, in most of the scenarios. We also compare our algorithm in terms of ADE and FTE uh, with other baselines for the data sets UCY and ETH. In this table, uh, the interaction of our batch learning algorithm are shown in blue, and constant velocity linear is in red, and ASNSC base are in magenta colors. As you see, it are uh, SILA outperforms a state of the art with 11% improvement. Also, SILA uh, outperforms its batch, learn, batch version because incremental learning and fusion of the similar motion behaviors improves the prediction compared to the batch setting and also SILA outperforms naive incremental learning because motion primitives when incrementally adding without, without any fusion it can may uh, it may lead the overfitting in naive approach As a conclusion and summary, we propose a similarity-based incremental learning approach in SILA. SILA is not limited to learn, to learn pedestrian motion behaviors. It also can be used for the other motion behaviors, including drivers and the cyclists. SILA outperforms 
batch learning confirming it's generalized better to new unseen scenarios compared to the batch learning and so so Scylla achieves 11 percent improvement in prediction error id in average compared to the state of the art and Scylla outperforms naive learning with the size one third of the naive learning and as a future work we extend Scylla to multi-agent setting and incorporate interaction between the pedestrian in the learning phase much for attention if you have any question or you want to have more discussion please join us in interactive session thank you